everybody. Welcome to my little corner where there's no wrong way to play with paper. I hope you're having a very, very blessed day. All right, so in this video, we're going to do our very first mini swap of 2023, um, Pop Goes the Weasel, Miss Barb. Captain Barb came up with that theme and it's so fun. You guys, I have seen some of your takes on it and it's awesome. Popcorn, balloons, um, what else have I seen? Oh, like one of those Jack in the Boxes. I saw one of those. I've seen so many and they are all awesome. I know I'm forgetting some. Um, now I want to give you a little reminder. You can put your examples of your work in the album. Just go underneath the uh, media tab or I will put the photo up here of where to find those three lines. You click on that and it'll say albums and you can, there's an album for every single. I encourage you to do that because it gives people examples and it also gives new members a place to go to look to see what kinds of things they would receive in the swap and it it encourages them to join us. So I, I would love it if you did that. If you don't, it's okay. Not a big deal. Um, the only way you can participate in a swap that you see me talking about every single week, um, minus December, is if you go over to Ginger's Corner. So come and join us over there. The links are below. Anything else I talk about, I'll put below as well. Um, and let's just have some fun. Now, my take is this cute little bear with balloons. Now, I was going to um, make a bicycle with a flat tire. Uh, I, I, I couldn't make it work. I'm sure if I would have taken a little bit more time and done that, I would have. But um, I decided to go with balloons and I decided to go with cutesy, you know, this die, however, oh, I would I, I will do it again, but not in bulk. <laughs> Because, <coughs> excuse me, it took me a hot minute. If you look closely, there are lots of layers to this dye. It is extremely cute. Like, it is beyond cute. I got it on Amazon, and I'll put that link below. Um, let's see here. It is this one here. Now, so I have these four. I got these two, the little mouse, and this one. And it's actually supposed to be a mama bear and a baby bear. Um, I didn't do that. I just did the baby bear. Maybe because I'm doing a lot of Junior's baby um, layouts lately. I don't know. But And then some balloons I decided to put on there. Now the balloon I have had for a long time. I don't think it's a Sizzix die. Sizzix dies will say on the back if they are. I don't think it is. I think it's just part of a set that I got somewhere. Um, so I did this balloon. And you'll see all the parts. right? And we are going to put one together. And then at the end... While I haven't been doing this um, recently, I think for these first couple of mini swaps, because we have so many new swappers, I am going to show you how to mail them, which I kind of went over in the how-to video, um, but I think maybe some steps got lost in translation and my yakety yakin, so I will do that at the end. All right, let's put it together. So I layered all the pieces and I put all of that. I'm saving you that heartache because I mean look look at the little paws look how tiny those are you guys yes I sat there with my quick stick and I just it took me a hot minute <laughs> thank goodness I only had to make 12 <laughs> okay so then once I did that I took just a white gel pen any one that you want whatever you can get them at Walmart even wherever you like I don't use anything special and then on the die there is spots um, you can see them probably not on film, but in person it is indentate in indent an indentation. Okay, I know I did not just say that in the right context, but what's new? <laughs> okay, <laughs> goodness. So I'm just using my white gel pen to highlight the eyes. Easier. Yes, it did have little dots. No. I am not cutting out tiny little dots that size to do. I will just use my gel pen. Yeah, <laughs> that's not happening. <laughs> okay, so once I got all of the parts and I did that, I took these um, sticker things. And I do I have, I don't have the, um, they're double-sided little squares. That's what you can, you can get them on Amazon. Oh, they've been around for years, y'all. I've been scrapbooking for over 20 years. So, um, and you peel off one side and then once you get it on, you peel off the other. Well, I put it on the back because I thought this would be a lot easier. Plus, it'll give my recipient of my swap item 
will already have some sticky and they don't have to deal with the balloons. So, um, and I'm using product that I have, you guys know me. So there is a little back on the back. You saw me just take it off and then I flip it over and now I'm just going to put my balloons on however I want them to be. Let's see. I think this one, I'll do a yellow one in the middle. So I'm just going to stick it on here. Okay, see how it just sticks on there. And these are sort of dainty, but not crazy. I mean, you know, I did on some of them put the little loop on the other side, just um, to, so it shows a little bit. That's kind of cute. You don't have to if you don't want to. If it doesn't lay right, that's okay. And let's find one more blue. Let's use this one. And I'm just kind of deciding where I want it doesn't really matter. I mean, honestly, it doesn't. And let's just go like so. Okay, so that's how it will lay. All right. And then I'm going to flip it back over because I'm going to take another one of these stickies. Okay. And I am just going to use it to hold them down. And then whoever receives this can peel this part off and it'll already be sticky if they want to. They don't have to if they don't want to. Then I took, oh my God, I'm throwing things again. Shocking, I know. <laughs> it was like, no, I'm going with you. Okay, so and then I took another one and I just kind of um, put it down to give it some stability. That's what I've done, all right? And just like that, I've made myself a cute little bear with some balloons that go pop, right? Balloons pop. I almost made another balloon and had him sitting on one. You remember that game where we used to, our parents would put little slivers of paper or little gifts inside, blow up the balloon, and we'd all sit on them? I haven't seen that in forever. Forever, showing my age. <laughs> so, once I have it down, then, now you can glue them. Like, I started to glue them, but I decided not to so that whoever gets this can position it however they choose. So, um... I try to do that. I try to be mindful that my way is not the only way because, you know, there's no wrong way. Now, when you go to mail these, please put your name on the back. You deserve the credit for the love and the time that you put into it. Please put your name on the back. And then these ones in particular are a little bit fragile. So, I mean, they're not super fragile, but I don't want these to get caught up because we're trying to keep things flat. This is a mini swap. It's called that because it's simple and <clears throat> you're getting four and not 10, like the main swap. The main swap, you're allowed to put a little bulk. In this one, you want to keep them as flat as possible. Layers of paper are fine, but don't do, um, if you do a tag, that's fine, do a tag, but washi tape the ribbon onto it. Don't tie it onto the tag because that knot will create bulk. Um, no gems, no foam in general to layers. I mean, it's basically a cute little flat embellishment. That's what you wanna do. Okay, now because this is a little fragile, you can put it in baggies. If you use baggies, um, I've gone over that in the past. Maybe I'll do that next week. I'll create something that has a baggie. But you wanna make sure that that zipper is not creating too much bulk either. I know, it's crazy, but the post office is crazy. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to flip it upside down. Not like this, I want it upside down because washi tape will tear paper. I've shown you guys this lots of times and it makes me so sad when I get somebody's embellishments and then it gets torn when I'm trying to take it off and I don't want that to happen. So, we're going to washi tape it down. We as in me. <laughs> There's a little, I got a little frog in my pocket, okay? Now, I'm not going to, um, on this, I'm just going to do it on my card um, made by Ginger. And you see, I did all that over here on all of them. All right, now once you have this and you've made four, we're going to put them in a envelope. So everyone that has seen me do that, thanks for watching, I love you. Um, for the new um, swappers, let me go over that. I'm gonna pause and grab everything I need to do that so I'm, my ducks are in order. I'm um, cleaning up my space a little bit because it drives me crazy. And I'll be right back, right back. All right, I got all my ducks in a row. <laughs> I don't know if they're ducks, bears. I got all my bears in a den. 
Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. I need to get out more. All right. So you're going to need two standard size envelopes. Okay. You're going to need some washi tape and you're going to need your embellishments, whatever those are that you made. If you have baggies, again, make sure that they have minimal, um, zippers. Now, if you're using snack bags or lunch bags, then you might want to think of cutting off the zipper and folding it over and washi taping it. I've shown that in the past. Um, I'll try to see if I can't make something that has parts that I need um, uh, a baggie for. Or you can buy jewelry bags and um, they come in all different sizes, three by four. You can buy um, goodie bags at the Dollar Tree, like in the party section for birthday parties. They can have the design on them, nobody cares. Those are pretty minimal as well. But just be mindful of your zipper part. I know it seems like a little thing, but trust me when I tell you, if everyone used those sandwich bags and the snack bags, um, the bulk will be too much. I, and the post office is getting even more strict. I mean, you know, it's kind of frustrating, but they've got to make money too, whether we like it or not. That's the truth. So you're going to take a self-addressed stamped envelope. All right. And you're going to address it to yourself and from yourself. This is why you do this. This is not me being a stickler. That way, no matter what happens, no matter what, if you accidentally only put one postage stamp or whatever, it will arrive to you. If it gets lost, it's going to end up back at your house because you mailed it from yourself to yourself. There's no other address for them to find. So that's why we started doing that. Um, I like to put the team name on it. Um, so that I know what swap it is that I'm getting. Um, but that's me personally. You need to put 90 cents in postage or two postage stamps. Two postage stamps is what I've always said. It's a lot easier for me personally, but 90 cents will get it to where you need to go. And you can even buy 99 cent stamps, um, the, the round ones, just grab a few of those and keep them in your crafty space and there you go. You can use those as well. But it needs to be at least 90 cents, okay? Because it will weigh a little bit too much and if we get a stickler and they weigh it, it's gonna come with postage due anyway. So, you know, it's up to you. It is your decision on how to do it. If you wanna take the risk and you wanna put one stamp, it's mailed to you and from you. So if it needs postage, it's gonna arrive with postage due. That is 100% your choice. Your captain will mail it back to you with whatever postage you put on here. End of story. So, just know 90 cents is my recommendation and we'll get it to you, all right? So you're gonna fold that in half and set that aside. Then you are going to take a piece of card stock, an old, let's see what all do I have in here. I have, oh, there's some, oh, there's embellishments in here. Hey, go me, I need to put these away. <laughs> They are too. Um, an old piece of cardboard. Um, the fronts of those, uh, uh, your paper pads, save them. Cut them down to eight and a half by four and use them inside of here. Use old macaroni and cheese boxes. Uh, use, use what you would normally throw away. Don't waste your paper. Don't. But I do suggest that it's cardstock or lightweight. This keeps it from bending. And believe it or not, when you put this inside of there, it gives you a little bit of wiggle room for a tiny bit of bulk because it will still make it through the sorting machine at the post office. Hence, the thicker this is, now don't go crazy and send something this thick, obviously not. But if you use some like, even just like heavy duty, you know, granola boxes or something and cut them down, you'll have better luck. That's my two cents, okay? So then you're gonna take that. Now, these are already flipped upside down, but normally your embellishment wouldn't, right? So you would flip them upside down, make sure your name is on them, and you would washi tape these down. We washi tape them down so they don't go all to one side when it's in the mail, and then this side is bulky. They wanna charge you for a package, and this side has nothing in it. That's why we do it, okay? We flip them over because washi tape tears paper. Whether we like it or not, it does, all right? So then I would take these, this is my example for this week, and I would take my washi tape, come on, it has cute little rainbows on it. I think I was gifted this. In fact, I know I was. Okay, so then I'm going to washi tape these all down. 
Now, if you are in two teams, you um, will do four on this side and four on the other side, all right? But I'm only on one. And when you are on more than one team, I do send you instructions about the postage, okay? Basically, it's an extra stamp. That's basically what it is, okay? But again, you can send it to your captain with two stamps, and if you think that'll get it there, it will arrive to you postage due, okay? And the captains have been instructed to um, not add postage. And if you address this from your... Um, somebody else or whatever they will change it so it's your address here and there we really are doing that so that you get your swap that's always the goal is that you get the swap okay so there you see they're flat um if i needed to i could washi tape them again i mean it ain't gonna hurt nothing right okay and this cardboard it works really well honestly it does all right so we're gonna put this inside of the envelope just like so. Careful not to grab anything. Look how nice and flat that is. Look at that. That's good. And then you're going to fold this in a way. Now, I usually can get it in here. These are two different envelopes. So, oh, yeah, it will. Oh, no, maybe not. Sometimes I have to fold them again. If you do, that's all right. Just don't fold your stamps, right? And I sometimes, even if I have to fold it this way, I'll take my bone folder not going to hurt nothing and stick it right inside of there okay just like so just like so it's flat and then I am going to tape this now you don't have to but these self adhering ones especially if you get them at like the Dollar Tree they are not going to hold I'm telling you they're not <clears throat> I think I'm trying to get sick again <sighs> I need to go take some vitamin C and D <laughs> right now I'm going to go take some B3 all right <clears throat> so um, tape this, it will ensure it. Please, like I showed in the how-to video, consider taping these edges because I have had many come to me with this to slit open and the, the embellishment's gone or your postage is gone. So do consider it. You don't have to. If it's a heavy duty um, envelope, you probably wouldn't have to, but I do advise you to do that. And just like that, you put your stamps on there, your 90 cents, and tell your captain, and you'll toss it in the mail. And in two weeks, by the end of that two weeks, you'll be swapped, and you will get new embellishments, four different ones. Okay, so I just wanted to go over that um, in detail so um, the new swappers would have that. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you are having so much fun. Again, I have seen some of the swaps um things and they are amazing we have a new swap every sunday mini swap where you make four embellishments and you mail it off in four days and above all have a very blessed day enjoy your crafty space don't stress and i will see you guys next time